guys? How is everybody on such a hot, sticky, nasty, miserable day? Um, I'm sitting in the air conditioner now. I've just finished cutting the grass and I'm about wiped out. But, well, during today while I was out, I got a delivery from my local hobby shop, Mark Twain Hobby Center. And it's a great place to shop online or in their store. Back with the order, they sent a, a ten percent off coupon. That's good through the end of September. And I'm sure I'm going to use that. But anyway, let's dig in and see what we got in our box today. We got Star Trek Cadet Series, the toss. The refit and the B Enterprise, which will finish out my set. The only one I don't have is the adversary set, which I'm not sure if I'm going to get or not. Now I now have all the all of the Enterprises. In fact, I have two refits, so I need to find who whoever makes the uh, Enterprise A decals for the for that, so I can make one of them be the A. I'm going to get ready to do it, so I got those. Upside down, sorry. Been a long day. We got that from him today. And in case you're interested, I paid $13.95 for that one. And then, what else did I get? I got uh, an Airfix. 172nd Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1A. Um, this is the. I'm going to build this uh, just for fun. Uh, I know that Aaron Newlands has upset, sent him some money to buy some of these kits for his school project, and I thought I would get one and build one along too. So that's why I got that. Other, for no other reason. Here's the uh, painting diagram on the back. I usually buy big models, but. What the heck, I can build little ones too. And that one was, I think $6.99 is what it's marked. But I don't think, yeah, but $6.95. But I got it for, so it's $6.99. Got it for four cents less. Then, what else did we get here? I got a big box. Ever since my nephew got to build his, uh, first two Star Wars kits here a couple a month or so ago he's been after me for another one so we got him Darth Vader's TIE Fighter and then you can see there it was $24 and the nice thing with Mark Twain Hobby that's why I always get a big box from any anytime your order is over $50 the shipping is free we got that for him, this is going to be his next build as a modeler. That's not a Lego. We got that for him. And I got one more item here. I built this way back when God was little. And Ravel just re released it. It's just a repop of the old one. But one of my favorite planes. The Ravel 132nd scale, Ravel Germany actually, F4U4 A1 1A Corsair. This one was 1995. As far as I know, this is a complete, just a, a repop of the old one. Possibly the decals have been upgraded. That would probably be the only thing. And I do believe this now comes with decals for. Uh, Pappy Boynton's 214 squadron are playing for the 214 squadron as well as the Jolly Roger version. I do believe I'm not 100% positive on that. But we'll find out when we get in there. I'm going to look on the box see if it says anywhere. Most everything's on here is in German so it's kind of hard to tell. But anyway, 
that's my haul from Mark Twain Hobby. And if you're interested in looking at them online, their website is www.hobbyone.com. So they have uh, free shipping, anything over $50. Uh, here's a now, the only downside, as far as I know, they only, I think they only ship domestic. I don't think they ship international. But they have just tons and tons and tons of stuff. But it's a great big brick-and-mortar hobby shop. It's not somebody's basement. So that's always helps, too. So even if you're buying online, you're still supporting a brick-and-mortar store. So that was my haul for today. And we'll see you again soon. I'm actually put everything aside except for the Galaxy Quest Protector. A movie came on TV this morning and I said, you know what, it's time to finish it. So I put everything on hold except for that. And we're going to see an update on that real soon. But we'll see you later. Good night.